Hello there, my name is Paul aka Modus and in this video I'll show you how I make the futuristic sounding vocals that you can find in a number of my songs including New Year Protocol 4 New Year Protocol 3 No Return, both the original and VIP Prepare yourself and come along for the ride and timer. Time's up. The bass process is very simple, but you can make it as complex as you want. Now, if we get enough support, I might put the download link for the FL Studio project, but in any case, I recommend you to follow the video so you learn how to do it and so you can extrapolate this information to your software of choice. Let's get started. First of all, you need a raw vocal sample. You can record it on your own using your mic, in which case you can skip to the following timestamp. Or you can do what I did, which is browse for text-to-speech apps online. In my case, I often use voices from a cappella group, which sound pretty cool and fitting for what I usually do. Now, go to the text box and type in your message. You can sort of cheat your way around if you can't get a certain word to sound right. Once you get what you want, Go ahead and open any recording software. I like to use Audacity, but you can use whatever you want. Set the program so it records the audio coming from the PC. Once you're all set, hit the record button and play the voice sample. Very professional test for a very professional tutorial. When you're done, just export it as a lossless WAV file and we're on to the next step. Now, once you're in your favorite DAW, you're going to need five mixer tracks. This amount can vary depending on the number of layers you want to add, but for the sake of this video, I'm going to keep it at 5. Now, rename your mixer tracks. The first one will be Modulator. The second one, Carrier. The third one, Vocodex. The fourth one, Original Layer. And the final one, End Result. Of course, you can rename them however you want, but it's important that you know what's on each track, so that's why I'm doing this. Now, follow me closely. Route Modulator and Carrier to Vocodex. And Vocodex and Original Layer to End Result. Make sure to select Route to this track only. You should have something like this. Right after that, go ahead and assign your vocal sample to the first track, the Modulator. I will come back to this in a moment. Now, go to the Vocodex mixer track and insert the Vocodex plugin. First of all, turn the wet knob all the way up. Now, you'll see these number boxes up here which say Mod and Car, which stand for Modulator and Carrier. Set the Modulator to 1 and the Carrier to 2. This means the plugin will be taking the signal from the first mixer track, which is where your voice sample is, and will be modulating it with a carrier signal that I'm about to get to. If you've done this correctly, when you play your sample back, it should sound like it's whispering at you. Now, go to your channel rack and insert any instrument you like. In my case, I found the best results with Citrus and a pan flute preset. Go ahead and make a pattern containing a low note. Once you get the sound you like, route it to the second mixer track, the carrier. Drop your pattern into the playlist and match it with the sample. Play it back and the vocodex should already be doing its job. Very professional test for a very professional tutorial. If you don't like some of the harmonics the carrier generates, you can always subtract them with an EQ. Very professional test for a very professional tutorial. Very professional test. Very professional test for a very professional tutorial. Very professional test for a very professional tutorial. 
All right. Remember the original layer track we were talking about at the beginning of the video? We're going to put that to use now. Go ahead and make a duplicate of the vocal sample, and this time route it to the original layer mixer track. When you hit play, you will hear the original sample on top of the one with the vocoder. Very professional test for a very professional tutorial. The reason I add this layer is for additional naturalness and more flexible intonation, as opposed to just having the artificial sound of the vocodex layer alone. Now, go ahead and insert an EQ and high pass it to around 500 or 600 Hz, just so you can only hear the higher overtones of the sample. Then, detune it using a chorus effect. In my case, I'm using Fruity Chorus, which comes built in with FL Studio. And once you've done that, it should sound something like this. Very professional test for a very professional tutorial. As an additional way to make it even more natural, go back into the carrier pattern and do some paramentos so it goes up and down while it's playing. If you want it to be extra natural, you can try and match the original intonation using the paramentos on your pattern. And now, you should have something that already sounds pretty close to the final result. Very professional test for a very professional tutorial. Finally, I'm going to be focusing on improving what we have with additional effects. Be sure to add set effects to the last mixer track end result. In order to get this to sound more powerful, I'm going to add a compressor with very aggressive settings. I'm going to use OTT by Xfer, which is completely free, but you can use any compressor you want. I'm going to do 100% depth, so the outcome is as uniform as possible. I'm going to bring up the volume on it, and maybe turn up the low end band so we get those nice, powerful bass frequencies. I'm also going to do some saturation with 3D Wave Shaper. And last, but definitely not least, I'm going to do some reductive EQ to get rid of the frequencies that we don't want, either because they make the sound muddy or they resonate too much, for example for de -essing. Of course you can use some more sophisticated tools to accomplish the latter, but that's up to you. And finally, after you're done, hit play and listen to the final result. Very professional test for a very professional tutorial. If you want to modify how that sounds, you can always go back and change anything you'd like, from the carrier sound itself to the different effects in post and everything in between. And that wraps it up for this tutorial. If you enjoyed it, be sure to leave a like and subscribe so I can keep making these. And don't forget to catch me live on Twitch every week. I'm Paul, aka Modus, and until next time. Oh,